started at about 10.45am at the Archer School and that involves all the schools of Blaken and they're walking down and we had the Cambria band that marched them down all the way into the um, entertainment ring ready for meeting Chris Matheson to open the festival. And let's not waste any time. Get out to all the schools, spend lots of money on local organisations and campaign groups and have a great afternoon. What do you think? Do you think we should open the festival? In that case, the festival is well and truly open. Blaken Festival, it's always such a great event. You can always already feel the sense of community. It was led off by the schools, which are such an important part of the centre uh, of the Blaken community, and they work so well together. It's a lovely sunny day. There's a buzz everywhere already. The children are performing on the stage behind me at the moment. The new bump track's open uh, over on that side with all the kids on their bikes and their skateboards. There's just a great feeling about the place. Yeah, so the pump track, as you can see behind me, is, uh, is really popular with all the local children. Um, it's something that the children of Blaken have asked for for many, many, many years and there's just not been the money available to be able to do it. We work very closely with the local councillors who have been really supportive and have spent a lot of time with the local schools and school children to get their thoughts. Uh, we've had some really good comments as well back from the police who were saying, you know, there's, there's some of the youths aren't gathering in some of the normal places. They're coming here, they're spending their time here, there's no trouble at all. They're getting exercise, they're getting some fresh air. Some of the youngsters are meeting some of the older kids and they're all helping each other get around the track and use it in the best way they can. So I think for us, it's been a total success. I think if you speak to any of the children, they'll say they absolutely love it and it's had a real positive impact on Blaken. We all have a lot of um, community cohesion here. There's lots of people that are working together. You know, it's a great way of engaging with your community. It's a great way of people making new friends, people thinking, less, yes, I want to get involved. The festival keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. We've got around 55 stalls, plus lots of entertainment, and it's mostly local. You know, there's lots of people here, local people that are either advertising for stuff that they sell, or boys that they're promoting for their preferred charities and the fundraising. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and um, I come to Blake Festival every year. Um, my daughter's been here dancing today with Silhouette Dance Troupe, but this year they've decided to come along with my lovely little friend, well, say big friend, the Dragonfly, who's decided to hitch a ride on my bag. I think Blaken's definitely blessed because it was raining in Chester this morning, but it's sunny in Blaken, so there you go. And it's great to be here again. Rewind is the youth theatre that is completely special to Blaken. It's run by ourselves, Theatre in the Quarter, and Cheshire Dance. The most amazing thing this year is that they did another tour of the schools. This is a group of young people who perform to their peers, sometimes five, six, seven years older than themselves, with total confidence. I think over a thousand people in Blaken have already seen Rewind perform over the last couple of weeks and we hope that in 20 minutes there'll be another thousand people, who knows. Hi guys, I'm Adam Phillips from the Cambria Band. We're based over in Mould, over the border. Uh, it's always an honour to come and play at the Blaken Festival. Uh, we've been invited here to come and bring uh, a bit of colour, a bit of sound to the parade as a Welsh marching band and that's great, uh, we've enjoyed it, we've had a good day. Uh, what we do is we teach in the community, we teach drums, flutes and glockenspiel, then we get people up to a marching standard, then we take them out all over Wales and the surrounding areas to march and parade in the streets and do this kind of event because the community event brings people together, we have good fun, we play music, uh, we play traditional Welsh tunes which everyone was clapping and cheering on, on the way down, which is nice to see. So again, thanks for the invite uh, to Cambry Band. We've enjoyed our day and we hope the rest of the Bacon Festival goes well. Thank you very much. Diolchamau. Yeah, basically uh, we've been coming to the Blaken Festival for a number of years. It's a wonderful event for uh, Blaken. It gets everybody involved. 
stalls, uh, there's singing, there's dancing, uh, the Blake and Boxers have got a stall that you can see behind us here. They've got 250 odd members now, uh, doing great things for the community. I love coming to the Bacon Festival because um, I love to go on the trampoline park. I love going to the Blaken Festival because I love going on the big bouncy castle. Obviously it takes a lot of planning for a festival like this. I mean each year it gets bigger and better and the planning begins from um, January, you know, all the way through. But people, the more and more people that get involved, the easier it gets. But you know, we have lots of organisations, lots of volunteers that come on board from January onwards. So there is a lot of planning and preparation, but the results, you can see the result for you all yourselves. There are so many community groups here at Blake and Festival today. They're all getting a chance to demonstrate some of the great work they're doing. And you learn a lot about other parts of the community here, parts of the community from all over Chester. Here and Now was set up about two years ago, and it's to alleviate social isolation within Blaken and Chester area. We're a social group so that people three times a week can get together, socialise and try new activities. Hello, I'm a director. My name is Cathy Parker, and I do the Keep Fit at the Social Enterprise on a Monday from 10.30 to 11.30. Digital Buddies is a new scheme to help older people with new technology. Uh, the actual scheme is run in conjunction with Bright Life and is funded by the, the Lottery. If you're interested in the scheme, it doesn't matter what your ability is. Uh, we cater for everybody uh, over the age of 50. It doesn't matter if you never picked up a tablet or a laptop or anything before. We started up the WI in Blaken about 15 months ago and up to now it's going really well. Um, we make jams, we make cakes, but you know, it doesn't matter whether you can do anything. Um, it's just all about having fun and being together, meeting friends and doing things for the local community. At the moment, we have um, roughly about 25 members, but you know, we need some more. We've got lots of talent, but it doesn't matter what you can do or what you can't do, and you can do as much or as little as you want. Um, you know, and we don't all make jam, and it's not all jam in Jerusalem. It's having a good time and, you know, educating women and, you know, enjoying being together in Blaken. promoting the Chester Veterans Breakfast Club because we want as many veterans as possible to come and join us for breakfast, for banter, chat, friendship and we do outings, we uh, promote mind and PTSD health for the veterans as well. Um, so just come and join us just for the banter, you don't have to come every week. We meet every fortnight, once on a Saturday and once on a Sunday. Uh, we went to the Arboretum about two months ago and uh, what we did we all had a photo to take them there and we just walked around and various regiments that we, we saw because we're all different regiments and units yeah. that are in the breakfast club. We have social events and we try to en encompass all their interests. So the next event is for the RAF to, um, to Cosford, which is in a couple of weeks. So we try to um, do a... a different things you know for the army navy and air force because that's what we all are just all the forces together helping each other they're a most fantastic club you know, they make you so welcome and it's the only time i'm allowed a breakfast i can't have a breakfast i'm, I'm on a diet but it's a fantastic group of men honestly We're a freestyle dance school. Um, we have dancers aged from 3 to 16 years of age, um, based in Chester at the Enterprise Centre in Blaken. Um, our classes are on a Monday evening at the Enterprise Centre on the parade. Um, we have local children, and we also have children travelling from Ellesmere Port to take part in our classes. Uh, it's freestyle dance, as I say, it's high energy, it's lively, it's the current dance music. Uh, we teach the children strength, flexibility, confidence, most importantly, uh, making new friends and just generally keeping them active and fit. But they love dancing, they just love it. And I'm sure you can tell from the demonstration that we did today. 
this year's festival is a great success and we will be holding it again next year on this field and it's always the first Saturday in July. It's just brilliant to be here, it's just fantastic to be at the Blaken Festival once again. It's bringing people from all over Chester here to show us what they're doing. Uh, it's such an important day. The sun's shining as well, everyone's having a great time, it's fantastic. We've got lots of people working together, lots of um, stores joining up so they can make it bigger and better each year.